Hello and welcome to today's physical chemistry class. Exercise we will talk about today is 14.4. This would be the following. Suppose that for the reaction K plus L reacts to M, you monitor the production of M over time and then plot the following graph from your data. Here we can see the graph. It shows the value of M over time. Now, from T0 to T15 minutes, what can you tell about the reaction rate? Then, next question, how does the reaction change at T15 minutes? And then, question C, suppose the reaction as plotted here were started with 0 0.30 mole K and 0 0.40 mole L. After 20 minutes, an additional 0 0.10 mole K were added to the reaction mixture. Which of the following correctly describes how the plot would look from T20 minutes to T30 minutes? Now here we have three statements. Statement 1. M would remain at the same constant value it has at 20 minutes. Statement 2. M decreases and reaches 0 at T25 minutes. Or the last one. Statement 3. M would increase with the same slope as T0 to T15 minutes until T25, at which the point would become horizontally again. Now to question number 8. From T0 to T15 minutes, what can you tell about the reaction rate? Well, in the time period from T0 to T15, the graph has a constant incline and the reduction of M occurs with a constant reaction time. Then at T15, the reaction rate equals 0. Now, to what, how does the reaction change at T15? Well, at T15, the reaction has come to an end and the value of M doesn't change anymore, so the reaction rate has reached 0. C. Suppose the reaction as plotted here was started with 0 0.30 mole K and 0 0.40 mole L. After 20 minutes, an additional 0 0.10 mole K were added to the reaction mixture. Which of the following correctly describes how the plot would look from T20 to T30 minutes? As you remember, we had the three statements. And the correct answer in this case would be the statement number 3. M would increase with the same slope as T0 to T15 until T25, at which point the plot would become horizontally again. So now to show why. At the time T15, there would only be 0 0.00 mole K and 0 0.10 mole L left in the solution. If you now would add another 1.0 mole K at T20 minutes, the reaction would then start again and run until T25. And then the reaction would rate would drop to zero again and the reaction would stop. Now we can see here how the graph would look like in this case. We have still the same incline from T0 to T15 minutes. Then we have the value of M which doesn't change anymore from T15 to T20 minutes. Then at T20 minutes we would add another 0 0.10 mole K. The reaction would start again and run until T25 minutes, where the value of M then wouldn't change anymore. 